there were rumors going around about uh, the MCU casting Professor Xavier and Magneto uh, as black dudes. And the internet sort of lost its mind about it. <laughs> Here's the deal. Uh, I was listening to Comics Explained do a video about it, and it is a rumor, at best. Uh, I think it came out of the thing of, like, uh, the people in the MCU being like, we want more diversity in our movies, which is great. I, I have nothing against the fucking diversification of comic book characters. Uh, the argument ends up being that it's going to be forced, you know, you don't need to do it, but here's the thing. It's a rumor, but let's let's look at it as a hypothetical situation. Should you have a black Professor Xavier and a black Magneto, what fucking difference does it make to their actual characters? The color of their skin has absolutely dick all to do with who they are as characters. Magneto you know, is sort of the uh, peaceful protest, civil disobedience kind of guy. Uh, even though he, kind of, he he runs a school that also mildly operates as a covert ops mutant operations group. Um, you know, so that's an interesting conflict. But that has nothing to do with the color of his skin. You know, at no point in the comic books is he like, as a white man, I feel like... We need to take down uh, this religious fascist organization. Like, he's never fucking had to say that in the comic books ever. It's never been a point of, uh, point of you know, uh, his character. Same thing with Magneto. Uh, and a lot of people are like, well, Magneto can't be black because he is a uh, Holocaust survivor from Poland... That was in World War II. And it's like, okay, that you can, you still can have that. You can still have him be a black, Jewish, Polish guy. Right? Like, he could have been... Like, that, that's still realistic. They... the I'm pretty sure the Nazis still fucking hated black people. And if you were black and Jewish... Whoo! Whoo! I don't think there are any Nazis that are also fans of Lenny Kravitz. You know, like, this that just doesn't fucking exist. You know, like, there aren't any Nazis that are just like, oh boy, hate those blacks and Jews, but, man, that's a good rendition of American Woman by Lenny Kravitz. That guy, huh, what a talent. What a, what an American treasure. Based, just based on the song that he's singing about our women. <laughs> like, that's not a fucking thing <laughs> that you see. <laughs> you can still have black Polish people that were in the Holocaust, right? Like, you can still... You can still make that argument. Or update the story, right? Maybe in the MCU, because of when mutants are being introduced... Uh, he is a survivor of some other fucking genocide that could have happened. And he just happens to be black and Jewish in a country where, where Jewish people were persecuted. Update the story a little bit. That's fine. It doesn't have to... You, the, the big thing with these comic book characters, like, it's not like the books! It's not like the comic book panel that I read and envisioned... And if it's not like it, it's a travesty. <laughs> it doesn't have to be. I'm a comic book fan. And I used to read comic books all the fucking time. And I don't want to see the comic book frames exactly depicted on screen. Some of them are cool. Like it was dope as fuck to see that one comic book panel with Captain America and Iron Man. That's fucking dope. It was cool. But I didn't want to see Civil War frame by frame. That's not... That wasn't... That's not what made that movie fun. You know? It's a reimagining. Tell me an interesting story. And you can do it. Your skin color has no bearing on their characters. At all. 
And I think I think by having uh, by by having a uh, uh, black Professor X and a black Magneto might make the civil rights connection a little stronger. You know, really connect them to MLK and Malcolm X. That would be kind of cool, I think. But these people that are just like, you're fucking up the characters. It's ruining comic books. It's not. Relax. Chill out. Enjoy the story. Enjoy the story they've developed in this new world that they've created. You know? That's really what it is. It's a new world that they've created. And you should enjoy the story. Uh... I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind at all. Yeah. If they fucking did that shit. Uh, I would not mind a black Magneto or a black Professor X. And or. If it's both of them. Great. If they made Cyclops black, I wouldn't give a shit. You know? And then the opposite reaction is like, what What if it was Black Panther and he was, uh, it was like all white people? Well, okay. Uh, I think in that instance, the color of his skin does play a role in who he is as a character. He's the king of, uh, of an African country, right? That, that aspect of it does make sense. Bishop, for example, I don't, I don't know if Bishop is particularly a character who's, uh, the, who, whose skin color has something to do with his character. Maybe it does, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Let's say Bishop was cast as a, as a white dude. I don't think that would matter at all. I don't think that... Uh, uh, like... It, okay. He still has the same powers. He still has the same goals. So, it's one of those things where in certain characters, in certain regards, the color of their skin has nothing to do with it. So just chill the fuck out. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road.